uh, wanted to know about more social issues. Now, I know you all haven't really talked about social issues that much during this campaign, um, but there are people who really want to know where you stand on various issues. And I'm going to start with Senator Dayton first. The Minnesota Family Council says if Dayton wins, it means abortions and condoms any and everywhere. Really? Absolutely not. I, I support the, the Roe v. Wade decision that uh, says that you know abortion in the first or second trimester is a woman's decision. The third trimester is something that you know government can have a voice in. Although I believe that abortion should be safe, legal, and rare, and I believe that those should be decisions made medically uh, by uh, physicians and uh, with a woman and her and her faith. You know, there's a the parental notification law in Minnesota requires that both parents be told of a girl's decision 48 hours before she gets an abortion. On the federal level, you voted no on notifying parents of minors who get out-of-state abortions. Why'd you do that? No, I don't believe I'd vote. I voted I, about the ability to transport to minors, uh, to, for them to transport themselves across state lines, but I don't recall that one at all. My position is that I believe that parents should be notified. I'm a parent myself. Uh, my sons are grown up now, but I believe that parents should have a right to be notified of a minor's decision uh, with a, a ability for a court to be uh, to intervene in a case where its notification would uh, threaten the, the physical or emotional well-being of the minor. And you are endorsed by Planned Parenthood. Uh, Representative Emmer, do you expect to introduce any abortion-related bills during your tenure if you are uh, elected governor? You know what, uh, Kathy, we had this conversation when I was here back in August. I have a very clear position uh, on these issues. You're endorsed uh, by the MCCL. Sure, but my campaign is all about getting government back and proper... I understand that, but there are people who vote on abortion issues. Well, that's they, great. They go and they, and they are supportive. They want to know who they're voting for. That's great. And like I said, I've got a history. I've got a record on those issues. It's clear. But this campaign is about the economy and jobs. That's what we have to do for the state of Minnesota going forward. And I'm going to stick to it. So are you saying this is not an important issue then? I'm sure it's important to many people. Because you uh, co-sponsored five anti-abortion related bills last session. It, it's so it must very, be important to you. It's, it's important to many people. But again, this is about the economy and jobs. We've got to get people and in working together in the state of Minnesota. 28 other debates, we talked about the economy and jobs. We're asking about social issues. Right. So the last, I'm going to ask you this one more time. Do you expect to introduce any Here, abortion related bills during your tenure? Yeah, here's the thing. Let's stick to the issues that unify us. This is an issue I, that divides us. You know, I think it's I time that, that we be unified. And the one thing that's going to unify us is getting our economy moving again, getting Minnesota Minnesotans good quality jobs and getting them working again. Okay. Yeah, let's so stick with that. So you're not going to go answer the question. All right. Hi, Tom. Well, I don't, Tom I, look at, I don't think anybody disagrees that, that we have to create jobs, we have to balance the budget, we have to move the economy forward. But I do think that we also have an obligation to talk about issues that are important to people that they do care about. About. And so my position is I wouldn't change the, the status quo on, on abortion laws in Minnesota. But I think it's not enough. I think a leader has to go beyond that. You can't just tout platitudes, Senator. And, and I'm not sure why Representative Emmer doesn't answer the question. So here's where I would put my political capital. And it gets back to how do I move things forward with with Democrats and Republicans by going out to the public. And I think where the public agrees is that we ought to reduce the need for abortion. And you get there by making sure that women have access to health care, including contraceptive care, by good sex education. I was disappointed that Governor Plenty turned down the federal grant. I think there are some good programs out there, including some good abstinence-based programs. And I think you fund adoption services. And let's focus on moving the state forward, not just on these, these nice platitudes. And where we can move the state forward is good public policy that reduces the need for abortion.